All right, we are motherfucking live. All right, welcome with, welcome to Roast with Friends. Roast with Friends. There you go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You know, apparently I can't say my own podcast correctly, but uh, <laughs> all right, welcome to Roast with Friends. Oh, um, my bad. Yo, before, before you do the introduction, man, uh, we're up to about 40, 40 views on uh, Apple and mm. uh, like 20 on Spotify. And like sixty on YouTube, so we're like right yeah. around a hundred. So views, we're at right? we're at four views, like our la- episode three. Now we're at, at around a hundred. So hey, thank you. At least some people are, are watching. I think it's the same people, like the same six, six or seven people. Mm-hmm. But uh, shout out everyone that's been listening. Uh, again, yeah. like we appreciate the like and subscribe. Give us a five star rating. Uh, mm-hmm. Every every subscribe counts. We only got two right now, so yeah, you know, help us out. I mean, yeah, we haven't even really like promoted it like that on our personal pages and shit like that. So yeah, we can um, we trying to at least get to ten episodes. That's our plan. But um, yeah, but um, bucket. So back to the introduction. Before I was uh, so nicely interrupted with some mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hundred <laughs> views, hundred views. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, over to Russell friends, some guy went to five. My, my man J Man J right there. What and, it do, um, baby? Yep. So hey, so this time we're not gonna do no like um heavy shit. We're gonna do the very first roast with friends draft. You know, and uh, what might we be drafting? Y'all might be asking. Um, you know, we, we nineties, we nineties kids. So, you know, and some might say the nineties is the best era in those summer, right? You know, best decade, you know, we, we drank out the water hose. We, uh, <laughs> we had the best era of wrestling. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. had, uh, the best snacks. We had the best TV shows. We had some of the best styles. And um, you know, some fly ass niggas came out the nineties, you know? <laughs> like J Man and uh, myself included. But today we're gonna be drafting the nineties snacks. So the best snacks come out the nineties. We're gonna um, we're gonna draft that. So I'm gonna get J Man J the first pick in the first round. So uh, in the first round of the Roast with Friends draft, J Man J first pick you on the clock, go ahead. All right, for sure. Before we get started, though, I just wanted to, I wanted to see if you were down to add like a little wrinkle to the draft. Um, is basically some something that I want to call the roast snipe. Mm-hmm. So maybe basically, it's a tool that whoever picks second can use, mm-hmm. and basically, either rounds one, two, or three, you can call out your roast snipe, and you get to pick. Uh, two picks in a row but then the, the drawback is when it goes back to, to the person that picked first they pick two in a row so it's something okay. you don't have to use but if you feel like you kind of know what to... I'm about to pick yeah, and you yeah. want to roast snipe me then we'll call it the roast snipe and then your only penalty is I, I picked two in a row right after that so if you want oh, to utilize sure. that I don't really see any other people doing stuff like that so it's a fun little wrinkle we can add to it all right let's do it all right so Again, you don't have to use it, but all right. it's there as a tool. So, ooh, hold on. Let me get my little cheat sheet. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. 90 you snacks with the first pick in the 90 snacks, 2023 90 snacks draft. J Man J selects. Lunchables. Uh, going with a classic. I'm going with Lunchables. Why? Because when you brought Lunchables to the lunch table, not only did you get to give your best friend, and if you had another friend, two friends, like the little cracker with the mm-hmm. and the ham and the cheese on it, like mm-hmm. you got to have your own lunch, and then you got to be the flyest nigga in school. Hell yeah. Passing out, you know, a couple yeah. snack, uh, uh, freaking cracker snacks here and there. And then when they came out with that pizza one, oh my God. like when yeah, we was yeah. like in middle school, I think, man, that pizza one, it wasn't even good. It was just the fact that you had a Lunchables pizza, <laughs> nigga. Like, 
You was the flyest <laughs> nigga in school. After school, they were like, you hear that Jay came to school with that uh, Lunchable pizza? Like, so I, for me personally, just my own memories, I, I got to take Lunchables off the map. Yeah, Lunchables is a good pick. Lunchables is a good pick. Um, yeah, especially if they had some bullshit, you know, in the lunch that day. You know, <laughs> Yeah, you had lunch of those. Everyone else was eating those rat burgers that all lunch ladies <laughs> yeah. used to cook for us. Yeah. Fucking yeah, thick like, ass yeah. meat they used to mix with them oats and shit. I don't know what yeah. the fuck they was feeding us. <laughs> that thick ass that. chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate milk was good though. Uh, I it was pretty I good. Never, I never drank chocolate milk since uh, elementary school. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Know. Every once in a while, I give me a yoo-hoo like I'm a grown ass kid, but. <laughs> That shit is delicious. But hold on, I got the um, hold on, I got the front office calling me. Hello. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, all right, yeah, I have that one on my board too. Yeah, all right. So we going with that. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready. Well, I'm the front office got the pick in, so um, we ready. So um, the second pick in the 2023. 90 snacks roasting with friends draft. Some guy one two five is gonna go with Dunkaroos. I don't know if you remember Dunkaroos. <laughs> but that's on my list. That's on my list. I don't know if you remember Dunkaroos, but like Dang. I don't even know when they canceled those, but I remember them being the best dipping snack ever. I don't know why. And I can't even tell you what they tasted like right now. I just remember. <laughs> I can't they even They were recall. so rare for some reason. Like, that wasn't <laughs> something you saw all the time. Nigga had Dunkaroos. Everyone wanted to dip in there. Hell yeah. You had to, because it only came with, like, like five. You had yeah, to. Yeah, you had, you had to ration that you shit had to all. break you it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you something, break the little thing. All right. You know? I ain't never <laughs> like, had Dunkaroos. Let me get one. That's like, true. Damn. That's, that's yeah. a good pick. Yeah, we had to Damn. take that one off the board. You know, we felt it was, you know, a good fit for the team, for the franchise. You know, we can he gonna, he gonna take us to win a, a whole bunch of games. So, you know, <laughs> Dunkaroos for the for the win. Damn. But yeah, you on the clock. All right. So I'm gonna go classic again. Uh with the what is this? Second. Third second pick. round. Yeah, third second pick. round. Uh third pick in the 2023 uh, <laughs> 90 <laughs> snacks draft. J Man J will select big sticks. Oh shit. Going with big sticks. 50 cent big sticks from the ice cream man. <laughs> you see, you could go get go get a dollar from your dad, get get one for you, get one for the homie. And you then, like, watch how you ate it in front of everybody. <laughs> you know, man, it ain't nobody worried about that. We was kids. Yeah. The only thing I remember is before, before we would take out the packaging, that should be hot outside. We put it on our forehead, put it on our neck. That was our fucking AC because we couldn't go back in the house. <laughs> that was, you like know, you were AC. lucky if you got to go back in the house, ask for ice cream money, and then yeah. go back outside. Go outside. So you know, you wasn't risking that. So I just remember every summer. You know, the like the expensive ice creams are always like a dollar or 75 mm-hmm. cents, but you can always get two big sticks for a dollar. And that, that, you know, that price, the two for a dollar, you couldn't beat that, especially when you had a homie or someone else that didn't have no money out there. Yeah, dude, like, hey, big <clears> sticks, <throat> man, just to be honest, they still, they still good. We still buy them, like, you know, so. I mean, I want them forever. I, I have, you know, and I just. I don't give a fuck. I slurp that shit in front of everybody. I just, I be mm. deep throwing the, I be deep throwing the big sting money. Like, I just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around. Nah, but hey, it's still, it's still good. There's a lot. There's a lot of good shit on the board. Um, still though, um, right, I wasn't. Think, are you thinking about using your roast knife, or are you just gonna? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go back and forth. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a. Uh, yeah, um, it kind of threw me off. I thought you were gonna pick something else. Honestly, I thought you were gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. You know, um, hold on. Let me, let me, um, 
Let me go over with the front office. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with him. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with him. All right. The GM approved. So, um, the second round, second pick, some guy 125 is going to go with the gone but not forgotten Twinkies. I'm taking Twinkies off the board. Mm, you can have Twinkies. They got, they, they let them go, and it caused an uproar. It shut the internet down. That's how good they were. So I got I to gotta draft them so I can bring one thing back. If I can Thanos snap that shit back, I go with Twinkies. <laughs> so. I'm good with that pick. I don't even like Twinkies. You didn't like Twinkies? No, the, the thing I like, like most about Twinkies was that movie. Uh, what was that movie called? That zombie movie. Uh, Zombieland. Is Zombieland? Yeah. Woody Harrelson, so yeah, and um, where he spent who, half the movie <laughs> trying, trying to, get, to get some damn Twinkies, and then like some eagle-eyed fan saw that, like when he was the scene in the grocery store, he actually walked right past a big ass shelf of Twinkies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my favorite thing about Twinkies. It's not even the delicious tree. Well, actually, actually, I wouldn't even call it delicious. I don't like all that cream. You don't like, you don't like the cream? Nah, that's not for me. <laughs> all right, go all right. So all right, I'm gonna go back. All right, so I'm gonna go back to something that's discontinued that I wish they would bring back. And this is actually a pick I was hoping you didn't say, and I'm glad you didn't. So I'm going with 1990s 3D Doritos. I don't even remember the 3D Doritos. You don't remember the 3D Doritos? No. Man, you can have basically, that. It's basically like a big ass Dorito, but it was like a sphere almost. So it was like hollow in the middle. It is just, mm. I don't know, the texture of it, it just made it taste so much better than the actual chip. And they were delicious. And I gotta <laughs> go with 3D Doritos for yeah. my third pick. It, one of those, it's one of those things that went the way of Crystal Pepsi that nobody remembers. Oh, I forgot about Crystal Pepsi. I don't even remember <laughs> if that shit was good or not. I remember having it and it not being good. Mm. So I remember it being like, like stupid. It like, I don't know. Like, it tasted uh worse than like Sprite or like I can't even explain it. It was just bad. Hope whoever invented that got fired. You know, <laughs> they might have that shit came <laughs> off the shelf so fast. <laughs> So well, we in the third round. So in the third round. But if this I is your last chance to to snipe, by the way. Oh fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna take my my sniper roast. All right. First right roast snipe of the roast with friends podcast. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the little ESPN thing went off. We gotta put that da, in. Da, there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you go with the roast <laughs> snipe. <laughs> um first pick. I'm gonna go with Gushers. Mm, that was on Gushers, my list. Gushers that is was still on my good. list. And I remember when Gushers hit hit the fucking hit the shelves. And we remember seeing the commercial. Remember how the commercial used to make that shit seem like it was so good? Mm-hmm. And then when you got the <laughs> shit, it actually lived up to that shit because it was good. Yeah. I remember me and one of my other cousins, we got that. We got like we weren't even supposed to. My grandma sent us to the store to get us something. We just bought some anyway. She was mm-hmm. so mad. And then we smashed that whole fucking box before we got home. Like, just so she wouldn't take them away from us. But like, yeah, that shit's living up to it. So I got to go with Gushers. And then I'm going to take the first beverage off, off the fucking board and I'm going to go with high C. Do I have to pick a specific flavor or do I get all the flavors? Uh, that's fine. That's you a, can get. Nah, I go with the specific flavor. I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna do orange. I think orange. That's my favorite go. one too. I yeah, go it like. was the best. So Anytime I go to McDonald's, I, I get the icy orange. It's still on. The, it's still to this day. It came out in the '90s too. It said best era. So I'm gonna take those two picks. You know. All right. Blood, blood uh, sugar the out. one I'm worried about is the gushers when I see one don't move me too much. <laughs> but um so I get two now. Uh 
All right, so with my uh, with my fourth pick in the 2023 90s snack draft, I'm going to go with what I think is a better pick than your last pick. I'm going to go with squeeze it. No, you only shit. you only got three sips out that motherfucker, but that was the greatest <laughs> three sips of your life. <laughs> Motherfuckers have to have the nerd. Oh, let me give some of that squeeze it like bitch. No. There's three sips in this motherfucker. <laughs> My tongue don't even get wet <laughs> when I take it. <laughs> how, the, how the fuck you supposed to share a squeeze it? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, that don't phase me too much, man. I think my franchise will be all right without it. Let's see the next pick. All right, and then uh, I got too many memories with the ice cream man, so I'm, I'm gonna bring it back to the ice cream man, and I'm gonna go with push ups, some Flintstone push ups. The motherfuckers shit. was delicious. I forgot about that shit, but I just um, they melted too quickly, though. But they were good. Like shit, my fat ass ate them too quickly, so <laughs> I never had that problem. You the had to eat it. Was gone in like five the minute minutes he handed me. it to you, you had to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> she was going go. All right. Good pigs. Good pigs. Uh, all right. So, nah, I was, I was going to go with something else. But it I think I'm going to go with a surprise pick for this one. I'm going to take Sour Warheads off the All right. off the board. Not bad. Not bad. I used to sell those in middle school for like 50 cents a pop. So I know hey, those you, shits are fire. You couldn't eat them after like, I don't know. They must have had a lot of sugar because the minute I hit middle school, you couldn't eat them. Though. You just like, you know, you're still a kid, but you... <laughs> Yeah, ate that shit in middle school. He's like, "Ooh, like, oh, that's a lot of sugar." <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, God damn. But yeah, I don't know. I don't remember having one after elementary school. But that was that was a pivotal, like, a good part of our childhood. So taking that one off the board for sure. All right, so. With my fifth and last pick in the 2023 90s snacks draft, I'm going to go with a classic. The commercials are still amazing to this day. Ring Pop. That's a good and on, pick. And on top of that, I actually was drunk at a bar once. And I, for some reason, I had Ring Pops in my pocket. And I was like talking to this girl, like flirting, whatever. And I was like, yeah, girl, I'm going to marry you. And she just starts laughing. I get down on one knee, pull out my ring pop, and she says yes. It's like the greatest thing ever to her. Mm -hmm. She thought that shit was so fucking funny. She was like, how the fuck am I am, am I going to say no to somebody who proposed to me and brought a ring pop to the bar? <laughs> that was like one of the funniest nights of my life. I was in adulthood, too. So that, you know, kind of has a double meaning for me than ring mm -hmm. pops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty epic story. That's pretty good. That's pretty good uh, improvising right there. You know, goes right back, you know, on the side note, it goes right back to what we were talking about, about learning to be clever and, and charming when you talk to women. Because, you know, you got to be able to think up little cute shit like that. So that, that mm -hmm. was cool. Did you get the number, Jay? I don't remember. You, you, let's just, you I would just assume yes. This. You could have just said yes for them eh, to make the story any better. I was drunk. You, know, you could have just. <laughs> <laughs> I would have lied. Hell yeah, I got it. All right. Um, for my last pick, I think I'm going to go with. Damn it, I can't find the name, though. Remember that bubble gum we used to have? You know, six feet of bubble gum, and you'd pull it out the yeah. way. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good and one. Cut, and you that's a good off. one. You know, and so it's like, yeah, you can get, you can fill your mouth up with it, or you can get a little bit. That shit really did it. last a long ass fucking time. I used to have that yeah. for weeks. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I forgot about that one. I forgot what it's called though. I was going. I say remember the slogan: foot. six feet of bubble gum for you, <laughs> not them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just can't remember what the fuck it was called. <laughs> but damn, 
That's a good thing. I think you might have got me on the first draft. I'm going to have to yeah. look at everything side by side. But the Gushers pick and yeah. uh, the Dunkaroos and the, the Bubblegum one, those are the they ones that, that bother me the most. I think my snacking franchise is going to be okay this season. I guess going to develop them a little bit, you know. <laughs> Bring them up, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, dude, that was cool. Like I said, now we had the best. We had the best uh, fucking snacks, man. The nineties was a. I say it all the time, bro. What a good, what a time to be alive, bro. What a time to be alive, man. Like, it. I don't know. I always thought it would get better, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we just got to do a quick rundown. Um, yeah. So, for me, yeah, I forgot already. I had Lunchables. Um, I forgot my second pick. Damn. Me too. And we get old. Should have remember that shit I had down, Lunchables, man. 3D Doritos. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Big Stick. Big Stick was my Big second stick. pick. Push ups and ring pop. And then what were your five? You actually had we actually had six because we got two. No, we only did yeah. five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. See, like I said, I think we old. <laughs> I had uh what Dunkaroos, Gushers, uh High C Twinkie. Twinkie, high C, Twinkie, then high C. Then the bubble Six tape. feet of bubble gum, the one we don't remember yeah. what it's called. Yeah, y'all we gotta look that up. We get a picture of it, put it out there. But uh, <laughs> fucking Yeah, you, know, and you don't have to see what people pick. I think that uh I think the high C and the Twinkie might bring you down a little bit. But I mean, that's just my own personal opinion. We don't have to see what everybody else thinks. The the eight people that actually listen <laughs> follow the podcast. Hey, it's cool though. We, we build this shit break by brick. It's cool. Hey, eight people, we appreciate you. Keep listening in. You know, you know. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. You know about about this shit. So what's so up? You want to cut it right here next episode? Uh, no, we could do another draft. It's only been like what twenty minutes. Yeah, twenty-two yeah. to be exact. Um, fuck it, let's do another draft. Let's write right, this shit the down. Another one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll write this shit down. You gonna write it down, or you yeah. like for both of us? Or you want me to get a pen yeah. too? I got. Uh, I would just use my notes. I'm gonna just write it down for both. All right, so this one, the other one we talked about, the greatest duos of all time. So, like in sports, or... anything, anything in general. All right, let's do it. So it sounds like you didn't even go over. <laughs> nah, over but that's easy. I can time. think about. I can think about twenty duos right now. I already got my first round and first pick right here. All right, well, I went. I went first last last time, so you can go first. Of all time. Any duels of anything. All right, of all video time. games, sports, TV shows, movies. Greatest duos. Of real all life time. heroes. I mean, real life people. I'm gonna have any, to go any two with things together. Even though one of them don't get the the credit he deserves, I'm gonna go with Jordan and Pippen. Right, Six that rings was on my list. Six rings. Bunch of wins. I don't know the stats. Y'all know them, but god damn it. That was, there was a his, there was history made and they did it together. So that's my first round, first pick. Uh, Jordan and damn, can't spell Jordan. And Pippen. And the second <laughs> greatest two that come off of that is <laughs> is Pippin, Pippin's wife and every other nigga. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna fucking God damn. <laughs> Catching strays over here. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Pippin's wife and future. No, I'm just kidding. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with Jordan and Pippin. Six rings in what eight years, something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, didn't really do it without each other. Pippin at least came close. Er. But but whatever. All right. Who you got in the first round? So I got to go with a duo that is just right there 
neck and neck with each other, old school, timeless. Got to go with Goku and Vegeta. Mm -hmm. I um, I gotta be honest. I stopped watching Dragon Ball Z after uh, after the it stopped coming on Cartoon Network. You know what, what saga? Do you remember? It only had two. I think if I remember, it had the uh, one with uh with Radis and then the Frieza. All right, I stopped after the Frieza. Basically, just to be honest. So oh, yeah, you missed. I wasn't a lot really. Then. Yeah, <clears throat> it wasn't really like like like. Um, I don't know why I stopped watching it. Just to be honest, it's because of all the filler. <laughs> That's the reason I stopped watching it. But like Again, once you once you get through all that talking. And they finally, you know, get to the action. Yeah. That's when shit gets real. You got to hear everybody's opinion on the fight before you fight. Not, niggas, that's not even there. You got to hear their opinion <laughs> on the shit. Boma be at the, grad, at the fucking grocery store or something. Like, oh, I wonder if I should pick this one or this one. It's like, who cares? You know, <laughs> can we just fight? Like, God damn, it's been three episodes of niggas talking. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the big problem with it's all the old school anime. There's always a bunch of filler episodes. Yeah. So. Just got to get through that. But if you ever do pick it up again, uh, Dragon Ball Z came out with a show called Dragon Ball Z Kai. Mm-hmm. It it almost cuts cuts the episodes in half. It's like maybe 60, 70% of, of it, of mm-hmm. the original show. And they cut out like 30% of, 30% of it. So the, the pacing is, is much better. Yeah. Pacing was horrible in the 90s. So <laughs> yeah, Goku and Vegeta... So, I might have to keep mine in sports. Um, do I want to do that one? Fuck it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to go with the greatest Super Bowl winning combo ever. That's uh, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. All right. Can't argue that one. You know, um Greatest quarterback, arguably one of the greatest coaches. But they won what seven in the other? No, six. I think he, I think Tom Brady has seven and won one with the Bucks. So seven. They won six, six together. Yeah. Yeah. He won. Yeah, he won seven. I don't know why I was thinking eight. Technically, should have been eight, but I mean, whatever. Should have. I mean, let's not get into that, but. That duo, all the games they won, everything they did. I, I just, I'm not sure we're ever going to see that again in football. So I'm going to stick with that one. For sure. Uh, let's see. Um, trying to trying to think what you might pick next because it's, it's it's so such a wide range. So I probably won't even be able to snipe something from you. So I'm probably not going to do that. Um. With my second pick, I'm going to go with one of the greatest shows of all time. I'm going to go with Walter White and Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Or Breaking Bad. I only watched the first season of Breaking Bad. I know I'm, I'm probably the lamest nigga in the world for saying that shit. <laughs> but it just, during that time I was in school, I couldn't really get heavy into everything. And like I couldn't. Like I said, watch it very much. But I heard it's one of the best shows ever. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get on that one day, man. I plan on it. That in Game of Thrones and, and all that stuff. I missed a lot in entertainment. But Game of Thrones will let you down. Well, it might not let you down since you didn't wait, you know, six, seven years for the last season, but that's the biggest letdown in TV history was how they rushed and or lazy as hell with the last season. Yeah. Yeah. But uh I plan on it. You know, like I said, don't 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 come don't come for me. I know I know I'm lame on that one, but um <laughs> but um all right. I'm gonna go with I guess this is sports, but 
I'm going to go with from the greatest era of wrestling ever. The Attitude Era. I'm going to go with the road dog, Jesse James, and the badass Billy Gunn, the smoking guns. Not Only bad. because that, that intro was just was just fucking epic and you never really got tired of it. <laughs> yeah, know? that's true. You never as many times. And um the former and soon to be tag <laughs> team champions of the world. <laughs> the road dog Jesse James, the badass Billy Gunn, the new age outlaws. <laughs> yeah. That was I gotta give you that one. That shit was that, fun. Especially when they joined DX and yeah. all them <laughs> all them niggas just started wilding the fuck out every episode. Man. Yeah, they um like I said, that was that was special and I was never gonna get um like recreated. I um I uh I, even though, like, I started watching WCW after a while, <laughs> um, like, I mean, it's, it's funny because when you hear somebody talk about the Attitude Era, they tend to only refer to WWE, even though yeah. both of those things are on the, um, at the same time and they competed against each other. And they were getting similar views up until a certain point, but um, or similar ratings, I said, views. God damn, <laughs> you know, like, but same shit. Yeah. So, but while I was watching, yeah, that, that was some great, that was some great shit. But, um, all right, you ready for your next pick? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play it safe and mm-hmm. I'm gonna use my uh, sniper tool, uh, sniper roast. All right, go ahead. Um, so with my, f- Third pick, I'm going to go with the classic, the timeless. I want to make sure you didn't take this. Mario and Luigi. One of the greatest duels of all time. Of course, the reason why I have them low on my my list is because uh, obviously Mario carries. Mm -hmm. I mean, Luigi has, you know, Luigi has, what's it called? That um, the Haunted Mansion games. Those games are pretty good. Had a couple yeah. games of his own, and uh, they gave him they gave him his own girl. Now he gets he gets to be with Daisy now. So Mario yeah. gets Princess Peach, so they can go on double dates and all that. So uh-huh. I just M- Mario is just such an amazing character that even though Luigi's lacking a little bit, I think the combination still still um, makes them one of one of a really good pick for my team. Yeah. You can say arguably the greatest duo because they uh they still they still move in units. They still move Mario games. Mm-hmm. They're still part of it. You know what I mean? Kids dress up. They, I mean kids. People dress up their kids as motherfucking Mario and Luigi. Still to this day for Halloween and shit. So, I mean, if you think of a duo, most people just off the top of your head, you can't pull that off. So, yeah, that's a good one. So. Who you? Who else you going with? All right, and then with my uh, real snipe pick, I'm going with another classic that I was thinking you might say next, so I had to take it. I got to go with the classic. I'm surprised they last this long. Batman and Robin, almost <laughs> the same exact synopsis, but Robin, like if you actually look at the different Robins, I'm not sure how how much of a nerd you are with the new like newer comics with like the three four or five different robins out like the red hood yeah i'm I'm not stories not in the dc okay so like robin is actually like coming to his own now he's you know nightwing went um started doing his own thing and then the red hood the red hood is basically one of the robins gets killed by joker right Mm -hmm. and um raise all ghoul takes the dead body of robin and puts him in the I don't know what it's called, but the like the revival pit or whatever. And so he brings them back to life. And then this new Robin takes on a new identity as the Red Hood. He basically puts on a, a red mask. 
And instead of like fighting crime like Batman does, this nigga just goes out and mercs <laughs> all the all the bad guys. So he's kind of like if Dexter or if, if Batman uh, trained Dexter Morgan and mm-hmm. <laughs> Dexter Morgan was out there doing vigilante shit, but you yeah. know, Batman style is basically who the Red Hood is. So I got to yeah. specifically shout out that Robin because that's my favorite Robin. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Batman and Robin. And now, like I get said, two picks. But yeah, right, like I said like on, on Batman, like I only really watched the movies or, or you know, because they were just kind of like, for some reason, the thing we all did, especially in the 90s. It's mm-hmm. like they had like out of 10 years, it's well, like they had 17 Batman movies, but it was really only what? Like six or seven in the ninety five, maybe. I think it was just four. It was the original one with the Joker and. But that was eighty nine. You can't oh. say nineties. Um, the um nineties was only three then. Yeah. Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Yeah, which were all trash. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the one with uh, I think it was Batman Forever, the one with Val Jim Kilmer. Carrey as the Riddler. Val Kilmer and Batman. Yeah. So and then Batman Returns wasn't bad. That shit was just so fucking weird. Like mm-hmm. it if it, it didn't feel like a Batman movie. It was like uh what did Tim Burton do that? I don't remember. That was one way that was right? like one of those weird niggas did that movie, and that's why it was like all weird like that. The one with um that's the one with Poison Ivy? No, that's the one with Catwoman. Okay. The one Poison Ivy is, is Batman and Robin. That's the one okay. with Arnold That's Schwarzenegger, the trashiest yeah. one. Yeah, and Jeff and uh, George Clooney as Batman. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was trash. The the one thing that I that sucks to me is that I don't know if you know this fun fact, but there's actually going to be another Batman after Batman and Robin. It was going to bring in the Scarecrow, and they're going to bring back like Jack Nicholson's Joker. Danny DeVito's Penguin, like Jim Carrey's yeah. Riddler. They're going to have it like a real Batman universe with all, all yeah. the villains. So I was like, fuck, man. Even if that was corny, that's still a movie that like I'd be watching to this day, just watching all those villains together in the same movie, kind of like what Marvel's doing right now. But Batman Robin was so ass cheeks <laughs> <laughs> that they're like, yeah, we're not doing any more Batman movies for a while. Yeah, it's just... It really is a shame. Yeah, they really didn't do any for a while after that one. What's the next one with mm-hmm. The Dark Knight? Yeah. Other than they did really good with the animation ones. Like those ones are really good. The ones that came out during that time. Yeah. It just, there's so much we can say about that, but about that, like we can go off on a, on a mean ass tangent about the Batman movies, about how they fuck up on them. But, <laughs> but shit, but yeah, that was a good one. So my last two picks. Um, I'm gonna go with. I don't want to stay in. Or I don't want to stay in. Sports. I was gonna do another wrestling one, but. I'm gonna go with. Damn, this is a hard one. I'm trying to think. Let me step out of my. Um... Take your time, player. I'm gonna go Take with. Your time. I'm gonna go with. I'm actually going one, one, one from a movie, and I don't think it. You go. Um, a lot may not agree with me, but I do this. I'm gonna say Martin Lawrence and. Will Smith from Bad Boys. Ooh, I'm gonna say this. Okay. I'm gonna say this. Why? It, they like did that. a trilogy that was actually pretty good. The third one wasn't that great, but it wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. The first two were excellent movies, and yeah. so when you think about the trilogy as a whole, it's a good trilogy. And I'm gonna go with that one. So, and they work well together, and. They go, you know, like it's just um 
What? God damn it. My bad. And then for my last pick, I'm going to go with. And I'm, I'm going to stay with movies. Most people won't even agree with me on this one, but I'm going to go with another trilogy. I'm going to go with the Doc and Marty from Back to the Future. Ooh, you know why? Okay. Because that's the best trilogy ever made. That really is. Like Back to the Future, when you think, if you think of any trilogy of movies, you can't think of three that were all three movies were enjoyable. Star Wars, maybe other no. Star Wars. <laughs> like the first, the first three Star Wars movie, like um, yeah, you you know, um I mean I'm a Star Wars nerd, so yeah. yeah but but um damn I keep shaking the table blah, 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 blah. but um but think about it, what's a better trilogy? Then back to the future. We might have to do a trilogies draft next time. Yes. Yeah. I can't think of oh the only perfect trilogy that which is new, which is kind of crazy, is, is Guardians of the Galaxy. That too. That I too. can't think of any other ones where all three. Mm-hmm. Like most of it's two out of three. Mm-hmm. Matrix, kinda maybe, but one nah. like nah. On re- and but a lot of it we're just looking at it in retrospect. But when you first saw it, you were just like, the first one was good. The first one was a classic. Second one was like, all right. The third one was kind of like, eh. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling the newer ones. They just they did way too much. They should have just kept it like in the real world, basically like the real world and fake world dynamic they tried to go way so far outside what the first matrix was about it's like mm-hmm. this kind of isn't really a, a, a trilogy this is more like a, a spin-off because it mm-hmm. just has the same characters and just completely yeah. new dynamic yeah but um yeah i mean it, it was fine i just i didn't really enjoy either one of them a lot i actually didn't rewatch either one of them until uh the fourth matrix came out last year i just wanted to binge watch the first two again <laughs> And it it really didn't move me. Like if another Matrix comes out, I probably won't mm-hmm. will not binge watch those four movies ever again. Yeah. I'll, I'll rewatch the first one though, but the fourth one I didn't I didn't really like too much. It was like whatever. Yep. And I just think they need to stop making make remaking movies like like you know or remaking franchises or good re going going back over shit like that. I don't think there needed to be a yeah. fourth one. Somebody brought up a good point. Um, Instead of remaking all these movies over and over, they need to take some of these movies that had a good storyline but flopped and do Mm -hmm. remakes of those. those. Because you're not going to be comparing nothing to anything. They had a couple. You can redo like Prometheus was one for me that was just, they could redo like... um, yeah, I didn't think about that. We should do it. We should do a show on that too. Like, what movies do you think need to be redone mm-hmm. that just had a good premise but just just shitty execution? You know, yeah, there's a lot like of movies that. like that. We're like, damn, the plot was good. They just editing was off, acting like the casting wasn't good, acting was average. Mm-hmm. Some of the people in the roles, like you're just like, ah, I just don't see them playing that role, just stuff like yeah. that. But the plot line was good. So I think that's a really good idea. We'll see if people start doing that. And then with the uh, yeah. the bad boys pick you had, like, I just wanted to say, like, man, I just remember how many times we watched Bad Boys 2 just <laughs> for no reason. We just exactly. had it on DVD. We just popped that motherfucker in, laughed <laughs> at all the parts. And I just had to bring up that one part when um he's like, um, he's like, hey, like the, the the two Mexican detectives walk in. Like, hey, what are you guys gonna get for lunch? <laughs> what are you gonna get some, like some fried chicken, a couple of grape sodas, and, <laughs> and Martin Orson's like a couple of grape sodas. <laughs> That's still one of the funniest lines <laughs> in cinema history. Like we were the fucking part right, dying. The part that made the movie to me was when Mar- Martin was hopped up on the X. And oh yeah, to, that shit was funny. Take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> like we were laughing about that at. One. 
<laughs> we were laughing about that at work. Now look at y'all. Look at y'all. It's not going to look at my own eyes. <laughs> like, the big fucking eyes. Big fucking fish. <laughs> that made the whole movie to me, though. Like, like that. And, and Ecstasy got his dick card. So he, he said, Mike, <laughs> call the wife. Tell her I'm on. The <laughs> way. <laughs> and it's funny because. Smash. And it's funny because, like, even the difference, because, you know, there was a big-ass gap between, you know, when the first one came out. You know, the first one was filmed in, what, 90? Started filming in 93, maybe? Came out in 94. So when you look at, like, the, or maybe 94, 95. I think it was 94, 95. I can't remember. But, you know, the other one, 2002, 2003, maybe? And, like, the the like I said, the first one's still good. But when you look at the quality of the writing, and how the jokes are done in the second one it's just much better yeah it's just much it's just you know you can show you can just see how things evolved and shit like that but they end up being like like both good because that could have came out really bad and you know like sometimes especially when you space out the fucking sequels it usually mm-hmm. turns out really bad but that movie turned out um you know a lot of people think it's better than the first one you know like so they did that like really good yeah, I agree. I like the second one better. You know, it's like <clears throat> we should we can do another we can do another one too on um best action movies or something like that. We argue about that at work all the time. Like for uh, sure. I think the best action movie is Terminator 2, <laughs> but you can throw in like a lot of different action movies. And yeah, that's like one that. of the first action movies that really had that that kind of plot twist that no one was mm-hmm. really expecting. Like yeah. nowadays you see it so common. Like, you can kind of mm-hmm. tell by, like, the way the angle is on the camera or the way the two characters are interacting. Like, like yeah, this mm-hmm. person seems like a threat, but, like, it's giving you, like, the the vibes mm-hmm. that they might actually be coming to help. And then yeah. that was the first time. And now I see it all the time. They're like, oh, it makes motherfucker look scary. And they're like, wait, the way they're acting is kind of like, okay, maybe Weird. they might be trying to help out the, the protagonist and not, you know, they might not be yeah. the, the villain of the story the way they pulled it off with such little dialogue too and mm-hmm. like it was just all through showing it to you and how dude picked up the you know you think he's gonna be the good guy because he picks up the cop uniform yeah and shit like that and he doesn't immediately kill the cop but arnold schwarzenegger character fucking just just starts killing people and then you really like can still just like not even really tell who's the good guy until that one moment mm-hmm. like you know like and it was just so well pulled off and then you know, it actually was a good story how the Terminator sort of changed and became more of like a good character and not just any, and it grew as like a character and it was like legitimately sad when he had to kill himself at the end and shit like that. And it was just, it was really well done, you know, like it's a masterpiece, but yeah, we can do that one though. So. Sure. And then yeah. uh, just before we get too off topic with my last pick, which I'm pretty sure you know what this is. I kind of, didn't think you were going to pick it since you went with Scotty and Pippen. So I took a risk, saved it for last, and it paid off Kobe and Shaq. Mm-hmm. This is number fifth pick. So I'm, yep. really, I'm really happy with my last, like the end of my draft. I got some sleepers you can, towards the end. I like that. And I don't too. even need to explain myself on Kobe and Shaq. So yeah, I, I do want to explain something on that pick, though, because. When you look at Jordan and Pippen, because it's something we talk about all the time, and we need to have an episode of this too. Kobe and Shaq played in a more competitive NBA than Jordan and Pippen. Even though, yeah. I mean, when they were in their primes, I'm always like, when I speak of that, I mean in their primes, because technically Pippen was still playing. <laughs> you know, when Shaq and Kobe were winning championships, like Jordan yeah. retired, but Pippen didn't. To what, 2003, I think it was? Or 2004. Well, maybe? Jordan played. Jordan played to 2003 as well. I, I, I didn't he retire, but he came back as the. He yeah, retired, he came back came to play back. for the Wizards. So yeah, he was still playing, but I meant like Pippen never re- technically retired. He uh, just went to different teams, went mm-hmm. to a different team, and so yeah, and I totally and I forget about the Wizards shit. <laughs> he with Jordan. I don't know why I always forget about that. So yeah, technically, but it's because his fans do. They act like Jordan got drafted. One three rings, retired. One three rings and retired again. Never played another game of basketball. Yeah, like, that's, that's why cool. everyone forgets. Like Jordan had some trash years. Jordan has some trash playoff series. Jordan has some trash games, just like a lot of other superstars. But like, 
now with social media and everything, it's just everything's just so magnified that, you know, oh, Jordan would have never did that. Well, there's video of it. He did do that. Like, do that. <laughs> just don't want to, you don't want, you want to pretend like Jordan just whooped every team in, in the in the NBA for six years and said, all right, I'm out of here, y'all. And just played <laughs> six years and left and won his six rings and just skipped just the doop up like- and got out the NBA. <laughs> Not just play. They they act like Jordan. Not not that he played like that. Nigga descended from heaven into the NBA. <laughs> played for six years and then I'll be back, my friends. And descended back <laughs> to heaven like fucking Jesus and shit. Like God damn, like this nigga was just untouchable. And it's like no, he had flaws too. Mm-hmm. And you know, but yeah, but like I gotta say, like we talk about talk, Kobe and Shaq. They won in in a more competitive NBA where things started ramping up. You know, because. Yeah the average player during their prime years was better than the average player during Jordan's prime years. Mm-hmm. And it's just 100% true. And so you have to like take that into account. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and on top of that, like we're like Kobe and Shaq, they're both the best at their position. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, it was like one, a one B. So like, and you're right, like Scottie Pippen doesn't get a lot of the credit he deserves. I think that was more of a 1A, 1B as well, because mm-hmm. Scottie Pippen often guarded the best player on the off, mm-hmm. on the defensive side. Not that Jordan was a bad defender or anything, but like they wanted to save Jordan more for offense. So Scottie yeah. Pippen was doing the dirty work on both sides, you know, uh, getting assists, getting rebounds, playing defense, mm-hmm. still putting up 20, 25 points. Mm-hmm. So it's just, Pippen just doesn't get the the respect he deserves for everything he did for those Bulls teams. And uh, the greatest thing he ever did was after Jordan left, this nigga Scottie Pippen almost won MVP. And um, he he almost got got his team to the the freaking, uh, I forget if it was in the Western Conference Finals that he lost or it was the second round. But he was basically one win away from like get into the 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 either the Eastern finals or the NBA finals without Michael Jordan, like that would never happen. Like, for example, with any of LeBron's teammates, none of LeBron's mm-hmm. teammates says other than when Wade and Shaq did it. Um mm-hmm. never did LeBron leave a team. And then that team that he left was able to, you know, even taste the what the Eastern Conference front finals, let alone the playoffs. Yeah. No team has exactly. ever made the playoffs after LeBron has left, unless it was like, you know, years down the line. So yeah. it just tells you how good that Bulls team was. They don't get enough credit. Yeah. Like, how good of a team do you have to be to lose Michael Jordan, arguably the best player of all time? And Still basically go. have Still a legit chance playoffs. at winning a champ. Yeah, go deep in the playoffs. Like, like that's, two year, that the two years he wasn't there, they went deep into the playoffs. Like they were mm-hmm. they were a good team, dude. Like it's like that's not brought up enough, dude. Like, yeah, you know. It's, that's a different episode though <laughs> yeah you're that's right we started we're starting to you know we get don't off have, topic a little we got bit. some shit we might have pissed some viewers off and they left after this shit there might be some jordan lovers oh well mine as well mine as well but yeah hey but thanks for turning into our first draft you know uh hey put in the comment section what you would have picked in these draft you know when not hey, like and subscribe like i said we gonna have some merch coming up you know, shout out to easily sidetrack.com. You know, we were just talking about some of the merch today. We're going to get it out there and um, whatnot. So, um, yeah, thanks for turning, tuning in and uh, see y'all next time. All right, we gone. Peace.